Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and in this video, we'll be discussing five amazing DevOps and cloud project that you should definitely have in your resume. And when I say have in your resume, doesn't mean just you add in your resume. It means that you should implement those projects by yourself, get the learning out of it, create some useful artifacts like blogs or GitHub repository, and then you should add it in your resume so that the recruiter will know the hiring manager will know that these projects you have implemented by yourself. And I will not be just sharing the project ideas or the steps. I will also be sharing the end to end solution with the help of blogs, readme files and YouTube video. End to end complete solution. Whoever want to implement it, you just have to invest your time in learning that and implementing that by yourself. And for the guidance, you have these amazing blogs, videos, uh, GitHub files and so on. So without any further ado, let me show you what I have. So these projects were part of the challenge that I started few months back. It's called 10 weeks of cloud ops and all the details are over here in this repository. Link will be there in the description section. So we'll start with the first project. The difficulty level is beginner. And if you click on that week one project, the first one is you need to host a static website on the cloud of your choice, either AWS, Azure or GCP and implement CI CD on that. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just need to know the basics of it. And right, these are the services that you can use for each of those clouds. And if you are stuck somewhere, if you are not able to follow the public documentation, which is given over here at the very bottom for AWS Azure for GCP, all three clouds, I have given the documentation guide that you can follow. Even if you are facing any difficulty, then inside the same week one folder, there is a solution folder. In that, the first link will be of the video that I published. This is again end to end video, static website hosting CI CD pipeline on AWS. This was done on AWS and using AWS DevOps services, AWS code build, uh, AWS code deploy, AWS code pipeline and, and so on, right? Then uh, there is this amazing architectural diagram provided by Ankit Jodani. Again, a huge shout out to all our community members, Ankit, Nishan, Joel, Aman, and, and a lot of other members who have contributed to this particular repository, who have contributed to 10 weeks of cloud ops, right? So all the references I have already given. So this one was the architectural diagram created by him. Then there is this image source, which re will redirect you to his GitHub repo or the blog. And here is the end to end blog written by him. So this one till here was for the AWS cloud, right? But what if you want to implement this in Azure? This is the architectural diagram by Nishan Singh that you can follow. And here is the source as well. And after that, there'll be blog by Nishan. So if you can click on that. So here's the end to end blog that you can follow along and then you can implement all the steps. It has all the screenshots, detailed instructions and everything, right? So for challenge one, beginner level project, static website hosting on the cloud of your choice and CI CD in either AWS or Azure or GCP. And here are all the resources. There is a video. There are multiple blogs for both the clouds. We don't have anything for GCP yet, but we'll be adding that in future. So for now we have AWS and Azure. So have a look and try it out. The next project is week two. So you click on the week two folder, readme file, and the challenge is to design a three tier architecture in again, the cloud of your choice and make sure you have below features like it should be highly available, highly scalable, fault tolerant. It should be using a custom VPC or VNet depending on whichever cloud you are using and security should be the highest priority. So you can follow the resources over here uh, for AWS, Azure and GCP. This will give you the basics of networking in cloud. And there is this video as well, IP address calculation, CIDR and subnet mask. So if you are not aware about the concept of IP address calculation, subnet masking and so on, you can have a look at this video. This will be a 10 minute video and it will give you a pretty good idea about uh, how to work with that. And again, uh, for the same thing, if you want to know the end to end solution of it, you can just go inside the solution folder. There'll be a readme file 
and here is the video for implementation of three tier architecture diagram and not just the diagram i mean implementation of three tier architecture in aws right and this was the diagram that I followed throughout the video. It is highly available, highly scalable and fault tolerant as per the requirements. And there is architectural diagram for Azure as well. This was created by Nishant Singh. Here is the image source as well as the detailed blog uh, created by him. So feel free to have a look at that. And there is the workshop link that I followed for the AWS video. So all the resources are there. Feel free to utilize that. This was project number two. So this is an intermediate level project. And now let's go to the next project, which is week three. So again, the third project is an intermediate level project. And in this project, we'll be implementing a two tier architecture using the cloud of your choice. But instead of manually provisioning the resources, we'll be using a infrastructure as a code tool such as Terraform, right? There are certain specific requirements to use along with Terraform, such as we will be creating custom modules instead of using public modules. We'll be using variables, data sources, keeping all the files separate. We'll be using remote backend for the state file and security should be kept in mind throughout the process, right? For the solution, go inside the solution folder there'll be a readme file and again there'll be a video link for week 3 project and it has end to end implementation in that i have used aws as the cloud and here is the repository which will have all the terraform code again all the custom modules and everything then here is the architectural diagram by mahesh mahesh upreti one of our community members and he also created an end to end blog for this implementation. So you can check that as well. If you want to implement this project in Azure, then for Azure, this is an amazing architectural diagram created by Joel. And here is the step by step blog containing the instructions. So you have all the resources that you need blog, GitHub repositories, and not just blog, blog for AWS, blog for Azure, and then an end to end video for AWS. So there is nothing that is stopping you from implementing these projects, right? Okay, let's go to the next project, project number four. Again, this is an intermediate level project. I would say it is an intermediate to advanced level project. In this project, we'll be implementing GitOps on Kubernetes using Argo CD, and we'll be doing everything from scratch. Like first, we'll be dockerizing a web application, right? Then will be provisioning a Kubernetes cluster using Terraform. Then we'll be implementing GitOps on Kubernetes using Argo CD. And again, security and best practices should be kept in mind. Right? For the solution, go inside the solution folder. There'll be a readme file. Here is the end to end video of implementing the same. The video is more than an hour, but it will have all the steps in detail and you can follow along the video and you should be able to implement it. If you want to follow a blog, then there is this architectural diagram for AWS by Himani. And here is the image source. And then there is the blog as well. There was this project also implemented in Azure, but I will add the link later on after I publish this video. So it should be uh, visible shortly. Right. Then we have, uh, Project number five, and in this project, we will be implementing continuous monitoring, alerting, logging on Kubernetes. This is an intermediate level project. And in this project, you will be working with open source tools such as Prometheus, Grafana, Elk. And your goal is to set up end to end monitoring, alerting and logging for your infrastructure. So you will be creating custom monitoring dashboards for uh, CPU utilization, memory, disk space, and error code occurrence. You will be creating at least two metrics based alerts to notify for any system critical performance issues. Optionally, you can also create two log based alerts. And then you will stream your logs to Elk Stack to enable efficient logging, visualization, and further analysis. Right? There is this uh, readme file inside the solution folder, uh, which will have the end to end video of this implementation. This video I implemented on Google Cloud. 
so there'll be only one step this particular step that is specific to google cloud because it uses the g cloud command to provision the cluster but other than that all the steps will be same for rest of the clouds because we are using open source tool so helm installation cloning the application repository installing the charts for grafana prometheus and then deploying the sample application configuring alert manager prometheus every step will be same because they are either using kubectl command or they are using the open source tools and helm installation and commands then there is this uh, blog by malikarjun which has end-to-end -end implementation in aws if you want to implement this in aws right so these were all the five projects that i was talking about and it has a variety of options from basic to intermediate to advanced level which will definitely help you get your next job or your role transition so thank you so much for watching the video till now i hope uh, you will find it valuable and i will share all the links in the description section so do not worry about that feel free to give it a try try to implement these projects and if you face any issues whatsoever we have an amazing community that is there to help you out so join our discord community it is free for anyone to join ask your question ask your doubt provide as much as detail as possible and someone will definitely help you out so thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon with the next video